We will begin creating a new project using our Nest.js CLI that we have installed previously. Before we start, we need to plan what we would like to develop. For simplicity and better understanding, we will start with a simple Hello World API. When hitting an endpoint that we define, it will print simple Hello World to our browser. It is quite simple but enough to warm up our brain to navigate with this framework. I will create a new folder called Nest.js Projects. New folder Nest.js Projects. We will define our project throughout the series inside this folder and I will put it inside our inside my desktop. And inside here, I will press shift and right click if I am using Windows. And I can see that I have several command terminal that I have but for most of you maybe you have this one here I will reduce this size here and let's refresh back what we have installed previously we have nest and because I don't know what command that I can use I will simply press enter and it will list out several command that I can use the one that I am interested in is the new command. I want to create a new project inside the Nest.js projects folder. It is called hello world. What I will do is I type in nest new hello dash world. It will prompt me what package manager that I would like to use either npm or yarn. I will choose npm but you guys can use whichever that you prefer. The installation will take some time and I will pause the video for a while. After several minutes, my installation of npm dependencies are completed. Let's take a look at what the Nest.js CLI have created for us. I can close this one and I can see I have a hello dash world folder and inside it, I can see several files and folders. And the one that we are interested in are the source folder. Instead, instead of I'm viewing from my explorer, I could just go to this one here, Nest.js project, and drag and drop this into my IDE, which is VS Code. If you are using any other IDE such as um, WebStorm or Sublime, we can do the same as well. I will close this folder here and let's take a look inside our code base. We have a lot of files here but the one we are interested in is source. We have several files here as well. We have main.ts which is our entry point and you can see that main.ts is actually creating a new project. I mean it creates a new application based on our module that we have defined in this case app module let's take a look inside the app module we have several code maybe this might confuse you but i will explain in details in a different section we have module we have controller and we have service now all of these things i will explain in detail based on their usage the three core that you need to know is module controller and app service Co module controller service all right now how do i run this project if i'm using vs code i can just simply press control back tick back tick as in this one prior to number one on your keyboard now it will prompt me with a terminal here. I don't need any extension. You can see that um, my install extension install extension are empty. So I don't use any extension. This comes by default with VS Code. Let's take a look again. To know what command that I can run, a good start will be package.json itself. I will close all other Tap. I'm not going to save it. Alright, we can see a lot of command. 
the one we are interested in is start colon dev this will start our project I could just hover over here and I can click on this button here to run script or I could just type in npm run start colon dev to start my project what is being done behind the scene is we have several TypeScript codes inside our source folder what this will do nest.js will compile this whole thing into javascript how do i know we now have a new folder called this inside this we have a lot of file but we can see that we have app.controller.js and also the type definition of it let's take a look at inside our controller this is the code and then we can see what it is being compiled to together with this you can see there are a lot of unknown code that we are not supposed to know maybe you don't have to know but the one in particular we can see is this one so this code here is being compiled into javascript so that's basically typescript for you it compiles your typescript code into javascript there are several benefits that we can gain by using typescript which along the along the course along this uh, video series you can gain insight of some of the powerful feature of typescript now to proceed with this series i will create a new video so i will explain in detail about controller if you are interested we can start looking into nest.js documentation and it provides us some basic overview of the things that we would like to know we have first step which we install our nest.js previously in the last video and then we have several key term controller provider which is our dot service just now and also our modules we will start with these three and along with the video i will explain in detail some other features as well so see you guys in the next video